30, 40 metres to the back of the group. It, it looks like you can reach out and touch the riders, but it's just so hard to close down that last little group. What will happen, someone in there will see that it's him coming across and get on the front and absolutely tram it. But you know what? He's got there because he'll just use his momentum. He's got the downhill. He'll just take the pressure off a little bit here and use the downhill just to close up the last little bit of gap. The danger here, though, as soon as Sagan gets on, it might just take the air out of the breakaway and they'll yep. look back and go, I don't want to take Peter Sagan to the exactly. finish. So it might just, uh, like the air coming out of a balloon, it might just, as they look back and see him, it might just be enough that they go, uh, no. Yeah, because as it was, uh, Canago was probably the best sprinter in there, but not out and out, not head and shoulders above the rest. You get Sagan up there, it's, you know, straight away as well, hang on a minute, if we all drive to the finish here, it's 90% chance Sagan's going to 